Hello friends, this is Xiaomi's 10,000 mAh Mi Power Bank 2. The company has really worked on its thickness which is just one third of its predecessor at just 14.1 mm. I bought it for 1200 bucks on Flipkart recently. Xiaomi claims that the anodized aluminum case has high structural strength to withstand collision and impacts and its 180 degree ergonomic arc design uh, to feel exceptional in hand. It supports fast charging and uh, also delivers low power charging to charge Bluetooth headsets or fitness bands. The company also claims that Mi Power Bank 2 has nine layers of world-class circuit chip protection that includes input and output over voltage protection, protection from overcharge and over discharge, protection from output overcurrent, and more. Let's unbox it and check this one out. So here is how the package looks. Uh, there are certain features listed here as uh, to how many uh, times it can charge Redmi Note 4, iPhone 6, and uh, iPad Mini. And uh, it also has two-way quick charge. That means you can uh, charge the power bank as well as your phone uh, simultaneously with quick charge uh, cap uh, capability. And uh, th this uh, power bank contains lithium polymer battery. And uh, it's made of aluminum alloy um, plus CNC edge. That is computer numeric control edge. And here it's a 10,000 mAh uh, uh, Mi Power Bank 2 written over here, which is the second version of uh, the power bank released by MI. And the maximum input capacity is 18 uh, watt, uh, output is 15 watt. And the cell capacity is 10,000 mAh as we've already seen and it is 3.85 volt, volt. So this um, is the actual capacity uh, uh, of voltage. We need to convert this to a user friendly 5.1 volt. Okay, so there is a formula with which we can do that. I'll show you right now. So we'll multiply 3.85 volt into the advertised capacity MAH, that is 10,000, all right? And we need to divide this by 5.1 volt, which is the actual output. So we'll divide it by 5.1 here. What we get is 7549. And also there is a conversion loss during this process. So Xiaomi claims it has a, uh, you know, uh, conversion efficiency of to 93%. So remove 7% out of 10,000 mAh straight away, okay? That is 700. So we'll remove 700 mAh from this 7549 figure. And what do we get? 6849. So 6849 mAh is the actual output capacity of this uh, 10,000 mAh power bank. And also, there is this uh, security code, okay, we can verify because uh, there are a lot of uh, fake uh, um, power banks available in the market. So we'll scratch this. And we'll have to input it here. mi.com slash verify so I'll put the code right now entering the 20 digit security code it says you're verifying your my power bank this is an authentic product this is the first time the security code has been queried so rest assured this is a authentic product this is how you check so that that's a nice feature that they have implemented as so there are a lot of uh, uh, clones coming out for each and every product for that matter uh, in the market so let's uh, open this up and see what's inside. So here's a user manual and here is the actual power bank and let's see if there is anything else inside yeah there is a USB to micro USB uh, charging cable here you go pretty good quality so let's open this up
The device looks quite premium and very comfortable to hold in the hands and um, this is just 14.1 uh, uh, mm thick uh, and this phone is 7.1 uh, so it's basically 7 mm so it's exactly uh, the double and it weighs uh, 218 gram so your 5.5 inch screen uh, phone weighs around somewhere around 155 to 60 grams just add 50 more grams to it so that's how much uh, it weighs so on the uh, bottom uh, there are specifications uh, that we have already seen there are nothing uh, on the sides on the top let's uh, peel this off okay so here is a power button here is the uh, four LED indicator let's see that shows how much juice is left oh okay I think 50% is left and here is the uh, micro USB port and uh, is a USB uh, output so yeah that's uh, pretty much about the design and uh, build quality and uh, and the uh, uh, specification let's see what two-way quick charging means so I'm attaching the Samsung 9 volt charger this is a fast uh, charging adapter so as you can see here it says fast charging and also simultaneously the power bank is also getting charged so this is what two-way quick charging means now let's see how long it took to charge different devices first off it took around 1 hour 23 minutes to charge the 2550 mAh battery of Samsung Galaxy S6 as it supports fast charging as well and a little about two hours to charge the 1500 mAh battery of Samsung Galaxy S Duos. This mobile is uh, really old, guys. It, it's around six years old, so I'm not very sure how good the battery is. Um, probably that's the reason it took around two hours to charge just the 1500 mAh battery. Next up, two hours, 22 minutes for the 3300 mAh battery of Samsung um, J7 Prime. And at last, four hours, 19 minutes to charge the 10,000 mAh power bank itself. So I've been using this device for a little over 5 months now and it's portable, lightweight and ergonomic uh, design makes it very comfortable to hold it in hand or keep it in the pocket and uh, it can easily charge my J7 Prime twice. Um, it also has something called low power charging mode which you can enter by simply double pressing the power button. You'll just see the um, this one light blinking. This mode can be used to um, charge the wireless headset or geo device or uh, your fitness bands. And, uh, I've also dropped it a couple of times, but uh, so far so good. No dam visible damage uh, seen uh, anywhere on the power bank, and it's uh, it's, really, it's holding up really well. Um, so that's it uh, for this video, guys. Hope to see you in the next one soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye.